Hi and welcome everyone to another video on CompTIA Security Plus series. In today's video, we will study the topic password attacks. So without further ado, let's get started. So the question number one in today's video is that a short list of commonly used password tried against large number of user accounts is a characteristic feature of and the options are replay attack, dictionary attack, spraying attack, or per day attack and the correct option is spraying attack so in spraying attack the attacker tries a password against large number of user as against the brute force uh, attack in which a multiple password are tried against a single user in spraying attack a password is kind of spread against multiple user the question number two is that which password attack bypasses account lockout policies and again the options are per day attack ring attack dictionary attack or replay attack and the correct option is again the spring attack so this uh, uh, the spring attack bypasses the account lockout policies because only a single password is tried against a user. If an attacker tries to uh, uh, attempt multiple passwords against a single login account, then the account lockout policy is applied and the account is logged out. But in this case, the spraying attack, a single password is tried against multiple users so in fact the account lockout policies is bypassed question number three is that which password attack takes advantage of a predefined list of words and again the options are birthday attack spraying attack dictionary attack and replay attack and the correct option is the dictionary attack so the, in dictionary attack, there are uh, predefined passwords such as uh, the this password, password 0, 1, 2, 3, and they are tried against accounts. So this is again just like the spraying attack where we have a, a predefined list of words. As against the uh, brute force attack where each and every combination is tried against the login users. Question number four is that which of the measures for bypassing a failed login attempt account logged policy is to capture any relevant data that might contain the password and brute force it offline. And the, we have two options whether this statement is true or false and the correct option is true. So when you try to bypass the uh, account lockout policy by <coughs> trying the attack on offline data. So when you capture the password containing data and then try the boot force attack offline, then in effect you are bypassing the account lockout policy. Question number five is that an attack against encrypted data that relies heavily on computing power to check all possible keys and passwords until the correct one is found is known as the options are replay attack, brute force attack, dictionary attack, and per day attack. And the correct option is brute force attack. So in brute force attack, all the possible keys and combination are tried against a login account such as uh, in this diagram we can see that the attacker is using an automated tool to attempt to try every possible combination on the system so this attack uh, is sure to success but it requires a lot of time and a lot of computing resources. Uh, if we use a single uh, personal co computer, uh, computer uh, the attack success may take years to uh, 
attempt a successful brute force attack. While if we use a supercomputer, then the attack uh, success time may be reduced to months from years. The question number six is that Rambo tables are lookup tables used to speed up the process of password guessing. And the options are whether the statement is true or false. And the correct option is true. Yes, so the Rambo tables are in fact lookup tables that are used to speed up the process of guessing passwords. So in fact these uh, tables contain the passwords. Let's suppose this is a password user1 and it's hash. Let's suppose this is a hash. Again, we have, let's suppose, maybe we have a password 1, 2, 3, A, B, C. And this hash may be 1, 6, A, B, hash, dollar sign. So this is a type of Rambo table, and this is used to speed up the uh, process of password guessing. Question number 7 is that which of the following refers to the contents of Rambo table entry? And the options are hash password, IP address, domain name, username password, or account name, hash. And the correct option is hash. As we studied in the last question, the Rambo table contains the passwords. Here, let's suppose in the first column we have password, different password, and here we have hashes of these passwords. So this table contains the combination of hash and passwords. So that's all for today. Please subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.